Hello and welcome to this demo. This time we're going to be doing an introduction to containers and Kubernetes. Um, it's going to be split into two parts. The first part is going to be the Docker component or the container component, and the, the second part, the second part, will be using Kubernetes in the form of Minikube to actually pull down our image and do some sort of funky stuff with it. Um, so if you want to see the part two, like and subscribe, and then when that's available, you'll get a notification. You can come and check it out. Okay, so in short, Linux containers are just a way of containing an application um, and isolating it from the host system. Um, it ships out with all its dependencies and it makes the whole developer experience kind of the same across different platforms and environments. So that's why it's quite handy. And if you want to get to know it, this is a really, really quick demo. And um, we're going to cover installing Docker on Ubuntu 20. We're going to create a simple Docker container serving just a web page. We're going to build that container using Docker. We're going to run it and see the web page running. We're going to then push our container into Docker Hub. And then in part two, we're then going to pull that down, install Minikube and kubectl and then do some great stuff with that in the cluster. Um, everything you need is in this gist, and the gist list links to here. It's all, every, everything I'm gonna run, I'm literally gonna run through this, so you can too when you've got a Ubuntu 20 server. Um, I've created mine in AWS, but it could be anything, anything you've got sort of root access to, anything you can install stuff on. Um, Ubuntu 20 or an older version of Ubuntu should be fine. Um, you'll have to go to Docker Hub, um, and do if, if you're using a different OS and use that but other than that once Docker's there and it's running all the all the commands will be the same okay so first up yeah what well, containers we know that that's my image um, we're going to run this now we're going to install docker using a uh, docker engine using Ubuntu so this is my server just build it it's not been up long it's not for 13 minutes I had to make a quick cup of tea right so it's nice and simple we're just going to follow through this document so this is this is this works on all these different versions and it says first of all remove any old versions i haven't got any so this won't take a second and we're just going to follow this through so i'd like you to do the same click update so that just refreshes the repos that are available to us so that about finish in a second then we're going to Install the repository, set it up. Right, so that's basically just a bit more information for the server, so it knows where to go to look to find the information. This is the GPG key. That's done. And now we this next command just sets up the repo, and then we do another update. I'll pick it up. We can see it in the list. I'll show you. Okay, it's this one here. So that wasn't there before. So that's new. So that's where we're going to do our installation and get all our packages from. Oh, didn't cut that. Hold on. All right, so that's going to just do an install. So it's 466 meg. And then once that's there, um, I'm just going to make sure it's up and running. So if I got it here. Let's refresh this page. Yes, yeah, so I've actually added it in. So once that finishes, we'll just do a quick system CTL status and we'll see if it's running. And then if it's running, I think it's already enabled as part of the install, which is handy. Okay, so running the system CTL status Docker, we can see that it's running and active and it is enabled. So if you were to reboot this server, it will come back up again. Okay, so now that we've got Docker installed, it's on to the actual demo section. So if this is the AMR I'm using in AWS, if you wanted to use the same one for Ubuntu 20, I'm in EU, yeah, I'm in London, so EU West 2. Okay, so simple steps. We're just gonna, in a home directory, just gonna make a directory called SRC, cd into SRC, empty directory. Now we're gonna create an index.html file. This is basically gonna be the front page of our app. And it's just a web app. And if you just can't paste everything from doc, doc type to article, this is just that didn't format. Let me just do this, set, paste, and put it back. Okay, now this is just a little web page. Nothing amazing. 
and that's saved. And now we're going to create the Docker file. So this is what this is the file that Docker will read when it tries to build. So in here, we're just going to put three things. Now there are lots and lots of options available. This is just a very basic example. Um, I'd recommend a couple of courses. You know, go and do a Docker course if you really want to understand this. But if you just want a quick fire, then follow this. So Nginx Alpine is the name of the container that we're going to use that's going to hold our web app. Um, it's going to copy the things in the directory, so that's my index.html, and it's going to put it into the HTML directory within here, and then it's going to expose port 80. So let's save this. Okay, so now we're going to do the Docker build. So this is where you need privileged access on this server. So we're going to do inside the SRC directory, we're just going to do the build minus T on, we're going to call it meetup app. Okay, so it's looking at the Docker file and it's going through the steps. So it's pulling down the Nginx um, container, it's doing a copy and then it's exposing 80. So that's done. Let's check that the image has been created. So sudo docker images. There, so we've got the Alpine Nginx one, but we've also got mine, which is now called meetup app. It's been available for 12 seconds. So now let's run it. So here we're going to run it and we're going to expose port 80. If I can get that to copy. Okay, so that's now exposed it. So if we do docker ps, oh, sudo docker ps, we can see that it's running. It's been up a few seconds and localhost on there. So, now, just go back and make sure I'm not missing anything. Yes, we've done Docker PS, we can see that it's running. And now we can do a curl localhost, which is this machine, colon 80, which is the port. And this is exactly what I copied into my index.html, but now it's listing on the port. So I grab the IP address and just hit the server's IP. So it's in AWS, I've already exposed port 80, so you might need to do the same if you're doing this, otherwise you'll just get a blank screen telling you it can't connect. And this is our page, sorry for the inconvenience. We're just doing some maintenance, we'll be back in a moment. Hmm. Excuse me, yeah, so it's just a little door, but so that's cool. So let's get back here. So we've proved it works, and if that's worked for you, you've now just created your first static website in a Docker container. That's it. Now let's push it to Docker Hub. So you need to have a Docker, uh, so go to Docker Hub and sign up. So, you know, just hub.docker.com. I've already got an account, but you can sign up here, it's free. And I think you're allowed one private repository and then everything else has to be public unless you uh, upgrade your membership. So I'm gonna sign in. Obviously I've been here before. All right, so this is me. This is my meetup app, obviously. I was practicing this, so um, I have got a previous image. So back to the list. So we've got into Docker Hub, we've created an account, and now we're gonna log in to Docker Hub on this server. Once I can cut and paste the command in. There we go. Right, so That's fine. Okay, so login has succeeded. So now I've now connected to my account on Docker Hub. Um, what do I want to do next? So we've done the login. Let's check the images. So we can see that my image is now two minutes old. And what we can do is we can tag it. So if we do sudo tag, sudo docker tag, and it's the image ID and then my user, and then what we're gonna call it with the tag. Okay, so we've done that. Now we can then push that to Docker. Okay, so now that's pushing everything. So yours might take slightly longer because most of mine's already there. It's just a small update probably. Okay, so that's finished. And now we can see that it's finished there. Yeah, mine's a bit bigger than that. 
So now let's go and check Docker Hub and see if it's got an update there for us. So if we just refresh this page. Yeah, so a few seconds ago I did an update. So if it's also the first time you'll see it there. Um, we scroll down. Yeah, so we had first a few seconds ago and that was what I called it. So if you change the name, um, it will change. And then this is just a quick sort of log uh, what, what was in the different image layers. And that's it. So we now have our app in Docker Hub from a Docker a container that you've created. Um, so back in part two, we're then going to get Minikube out. We're going to use kubectl and we're going to go back to this section here where we're going to pull it down into Kubernetes. We're going to deploy it, expose the port, do some some scaling out the de deployment for more um, pods, and then we're going to view the Minikube dashboard, and then we're going to delete everything that we've done. So join me in part two. Make sure you subscribe, like it, put a message in if something isn't working for you, and I'll see what I can do to help out. And I'll see you in the next video. So thanks very much. Bye.